Hi, um, I'm Janet and I'm going to be doing some NutriBuff measuring cup basics today. And many of you probably already know about measuring cups, but there's always a few that have never had an, any um, talent or experience with cooking. So this is the time to learn some of the basics. Okay, so here I have some measuring cups and they usually whenever you buy a measuring cup set they all fit inside each other. Here we have the one cup and this is a cup whether it's dry or wet you're going to use the same cup. However, the wet things are going to weigh more. Um, the wet things are going to be 8 ounces. If it's dry, it could be less, just because dry doesn't weigh as much. So that's the cup. And whenever, if you're doing flour, make sure you use the back of a, um, a knife and just skim across the top to, so it's exactly one cup. Then this is our half cup, and it's basically just half of um, the one cup, and it's four ounces four ounces. Then we have our one-third cup and our one-fourth cup. Now the one-fourth cup um, is kind of cool. It is two fluid ounces. And if you lose it, can't find it, misplace it, you could always use four tablespoons and then and you'll be good. Or you can use two fourth cups to make half cup. So, and then here's um, a third of a cup, and this one is going to take five tablespoons and one teaspoon, in case you don't have one. And so basically, those are our measuring cups. So have fun using them in your cooking. And half of a fourth of a cup is an eighth of a cup, and it gets even more detailed. I'm going to have a big chart on my website that you can look at to get all the other details and I'll print something on this one so that you can see what we just talked about. Basically in a recipe, big C for cup. So thanks for dropping in.